Okay, folks, uh, you are going to begin uh, working in Photoshop, and I'm going to just kind of quickly cruise through this, uh, basically with the idea that you'll watch it, and if there's something that you don't get or you're unclear of, you're just going to rewind the video, uh, move it, and play it back. So, first thing you're going to do is, well, first thing you're going to do before you create a document is you're going to go into the internet, into Chrome, don't use Safari, as you know, and uh, guys, you're going to do a search for somebody famous. In this case, I picked Ariana Grande, not sure why, just came, came to mind, and, well, do that. Pick images, and you're looking for a really good, clear image of the face. It's a portrait. So that means it's the focus is on the eyes, the nose, the mouth. So you want to zoom in. You want to zoom in. Now, the way you get this downloaded is you hit your, you can right click and save it. Or if you have an Apple mouse, uh, control, click, and go to save image as. So you're going to put it in your downloads because it's just a temporary file. Unless you want to keep it in OneDrive, that's up to you. So it's down there, and we can get rid of this now. Come into Photoshop, hit Create New, Create New, come on, where are you? Oh, I have a split screen because I have a display. So there it is. And guys, go to print, that's just best practice, and you're going to call this, you know, your last name, First name, actually, you know what? I take it back. First name, last name. Hi. Yes. So give me just a moment. Uh, put your period in there and put a uh, portrait, just like that. And guys, depending on your image, the orientation is going to be different. So for my image, it's horizontal, so that works because I'm going to use half of it. So there it is. I'm going to then go into File, Place, Embedded, which is a lot like, uh, and I'm going to go to Downloads, which is a lot like um, Illustrator, but slightly different, okay? So here it is. I actually might make it a little smaller so I can get it in. I don't know. But I want to, you know, I want to keep the same dimensions, okay? And really just kind of put it side by side. And here, all you have to do is hit return, and then it's placed. You can also go up, and sometimes you'll find a check mark there, but you want that off. Now, at this point, guys, you could start adding some new layers because this is going to be. Let me add that. This is going to be the macro. I'll just call it big shapes. Okay. Big shapes. And then this is going to be medium shapes. And then this is going to be details. And this is a typical process of drawing and painting, where you start out blocking in the big stuff and go from there. Guys, hang out with your brushes. You want to use the brushes almost entirely. You can change the, um, some of the properties here. You want to change the size sometimes, especially for this. We want to go big, we want to just block things in, and then eventually get smaller, medium, and then small, okay? So I'm going, whoa, not that big. A little bigger, a little bigger. Maybe that's good. You'll, you'll figure it out. Hardness, you kind of want a soft edge for a lot of this. So keep that in mind. And then, of course, you have all sorts of different effects that you should experiment with. Later on, as you get to the medium and the... Um, Details, go ahead and, and lower your opacity so you can get some translucencies. And you can definitely play with the, um, the uh, flow and things like that. Now, beware, guys. Let me cancel out of that. Beware. You're going um, to definitely want to select the stroke. Actually, this is different than Illustrator. It's going to... Um, okay, here we go. So... This is what I mean. You're going to just block in the big basic shapes and, you know, get inventive. 
I'm using the eyedropper tool just to select. Um, you know, you can use you can use it on here too. But then you know, start spraying it in. It kind of feels like graffiti. Feels good. So um, notice the background, guys. Is is um, it it looks white, but it's not. It's actually gray. So I just did the eyedropper tool. Now I'm going to change my brush, and I'm going to start spraying that in. And you can see how you know just basically kind of block it in, and then start getting small, medium-sized brushes, and go from there. All right, guys, save your work, set up your layers, and just have fun with this. Thanks.